Oh, hello. I'm Doug, and today we're going to be playing The Escapist 2, but there's a catch. Instead of trying to, you know, escape, we're going to be doing the obvious thing and being an absolute jerk to everyone around us. Hence, we are going to be playing as this old guy you see here, who just so happens to be named Jerk. I mean, if you're going to become a jerk, being named Jerk literally is not that bad of a reason. Oh wow, look at all these people. We got inmates and soldiers and guards. Well, little do they know, we're going to be annoying every last one of them. Now that we're acquainted with our fellow inmates and guards, we're going to be going into the prison and seeing how our little quest to be a jerk goes. Well, right off the bat, we enter the prison to see that the word jerk is literally censored. I mean, I get that you had to censor words, but of all the words you needed to censor, you need to censor jerk? It's not even a swear word! Ugh. Well, now that I think about it, I'm actually okay with it being censored, because it's gonna give our main man, Jerk, a little bit of energy to do what he does best. After a quick tour of the prison, Jerk came across this guy. Psst. The name's Robinson. Got some ideas on how to escape this place. That's all well and good, but I think Jerk has a few different ideas about how he wants to spend his free time. So Jerk woke up bright and early in the morning and immediately went to let his rage out on his desk. He grabbed the deadly weapon inside and went peacefully to roll call. Okay, maybe not so peacefully. He did assault someone. Jerk received medical attention and went to rest, but not for long. You see, Jerk does not need rest. He sustains himself on pure rage and anger, which he decided to take out on the warden, but alas, to no avail. Jerk decided to attack Dandy DM because he was jealous of his subscriber count. Speaking of work, now would be a good time to subscribe and drop a like, please. After barely resting, Jerk went to the cafeteria to see who he would attack next. Fortunately for him, he was the one who got attacked. Luckily for Jerk, he had a trick up his sleeve that would prevent this from happening again. You see, the reason Jerk went to prison is because he watched anime all day and forgot to do his taxes. This anime experience would come in handy though, as he learned to embrace his inner Goku. but it wasn't enough to win him the battle. Jerk then tried to defeat his old enemy, Lol, but he failed again because he was weak and frail. Luckily though, Jerk's mood was lifted by a brawl between his two enemies, Lol and Dantidion. He didn't really care who would win because he hated both of them. Eventually, both contestants just gave up. What? Jerk was so confused and angered by this that he made an irrational decision. Still not having learned his lesson, Jerk attacked Cinnamon Toast Crunch because he reminded him of how badly he wanted Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Seriously, Jerk, when will you finally win? Instead of trying to keep fighting and fighting, Jerk decided to be a jerk in other ways, specifically by stealing people's stuff. Oh, look at this. Maybe this is the one. Maybe the jerk can finally win. <laughs> jerk, I am disappointed in you. While Jerk was trying to attack the cameraman, he noticed Officer Jacksepticeye who he hoped would be his next victim. Well, forget that idea. But then, finally, 
Jerk's time would come. He would go into a fight, he actually had a chance to win. Finally, Jerk won his first fight! But now is no time to celebrate. Now is the time for action. Especially since the jerk realized he was also a lot more exercise if he's gonna win more fights. At least if he went down, Cinnamon Toast Ken went down with him. After blatantly refusing to take a shower and taking his clothes off for some reason, Jerk went to go eat dinner. But he came to the cafeteria late, so he was only there for like five seconds. Instead of going into fights he was only certain to lose, Jerk chose to exercise so he could win fights in the future. Here we go again. Exercising all he could, Jerk decided to go into another fight. Little did he know, it would turn into an intense chase. fun while it lasted. After that, Jerk considered giving up his mission. But when roll call began, he got an idea for one last ditch attempt to annoy the heck out of everyone. Instead of going to roll call, he went to exercise one last time. A decision he knew would cause a lockdown.
Now or never, Jerk started his master plan. Jerk thought the guards wouldn't want to invade his privacy if he went in the shower, so he wouldn't be caught during the lockdown. <laughs> Unfortunately, dogs do not care about your privacy. After a brief stay in self-isolation, Jerk sneakily returned to his room. He was plotting what he would do next. But then he realized, maybe it was time to take a break. He had put everyone around him through so much that the guards had to put him in self-isolation. So for the first time in, in his entire prison stay, Jerk was satisfied. But then again, it was only his first day. There was so much more to come.